In this screen recording, I'll show you how to use Perry GP from within the Sage Math Cloud. First, I created a project which I'll now open called Support. In this project, I'm going to make a directory, Perry, in which to put all of my Perry code. I now have my new directory. First, the simplest way to use Perry is to um, create a Sage worksheet and um, you can do normal things using Sage, but you can also type percent %gp and then type peri commands, such as that. Um, GP, if you do percent %gp and do something like, for example, a equals matrix 5i j i times j, actually 5 comma 5, then you'll make that matrix in peri, and you can use it in other cells. Percent GP again, you can do mat debt A. I'm going to put arbitrary Perry code in there, and notice that it even properly syntax highlights your Perry code. Moreover, if you go to account settings, you can change your editor to use uh, Vim or Emacs key bindings, and you can use many other color schemes. So that's method one to use Perry. Second, you can make a Sage worksheet where all code is automatically evaluated using Perry, so you don't have to put percent GP at the beginning. To do that, just make another Sage worksheet, and then at the top of the worksheet, type percent default mode GP, and evaluate that line. And now, for the rest of the worksheet, everything will be evaluated using Perry by default. So, for example, you can make a matrix and just directly make it right there without having to type percent GP. It's a full worksheet mode for using Perry, maybe the only one that I'm aware of. Um, and as a worksheet, it's nice because you can go back and edit input. If you really wanted a 2 by 5 matrix, you can do that. Of course, you'll get error messages back from Perry, as you should, etc. That's the second way to use Perry in Sage. A third way is that you can create Perry programs. So um, I'll make a program called foo.gp, create file, or just hit return. And now I have this file, I actually opened it earlier and um, then I deleted it. So now you can put code in here. Like I'll make a little function f of n equals uh, n times n plus blah, blah, blah. Just a silly little function. Notice again that you have parentheses matching, syntax highlighting, etc. You can send, then save foo, and of course load it into your worksheet in the normal way with backslash r. And now I can um, call that function in Perry as normal. Finally, the very traditional way of using Perry is to use the command line, which is also fully supported. Type new, click on command line terminal, and then in the terminal, when it comes up, type gp. Here it is. And now you can do things like backslash r foo, and you have access to that function we just defined. And of course, you can um, use all the standard Perry stuff. Uh, make an elliptic curve, etc. Okay, so those are the ways in which you can use Perry in the Sage Math Cloud. Thank you.